more gameplay of Pleasant Hills. Uh, I did stream a couple hours earlier today. I know it's a lot for people to watch and most people won't watch at all. Totally don't care about that. I'm just doing this for something to do. <laughs> just kind of like how this save file started in the first place. <laughs> Um, if you haven't been through Pleasant Hills before, there is a link to the Google Sheet about it on my Twitch page, where, or on the description of the YouTube where I'm planning of plan putting this after it's done, just to put it there. <laughs> um, I'm still not great at streaming. I'm a total novice, so please forgive any babbling. I'm just having fun. Um, so we did the Willow Creek neighborhood with the Pleasant View Sims earlier today. And now I am over in uh, Strangerville with the Strange Town Sims. And I will probably, instead of saying Strangerville half the time, end up saying Strange Town. <laughs> um, so, as you see, um, Pascal here is pregnant. Normally when you play your, like, Sims 2 ha um, canon situations in The Sims 2, you have Pascal give birth. I'm not going to do that today. I'm going to wait until the beginning of the uh, rotation because aging's off for everybody right now. And... Um, Babies aren't my favorite thing in The Sims 4. <laughs> uh, so, uh, they'll still be babies for as long as they're babies, but I'd like them to age. <laughs> so, um, Pascal here, he in the save file is actually younger than his brothers. That is because when a Sim is pregnant, you cannot change um, their age in master through master controller so basically once you finish the end of your first rotation it's quite easy to figure out uh, his brother's ages and then you can calculate it from there and use the chart on the aging system tab of the sheet to adjust Pascal's age to however old or you can just make up an age for him it's all good and if you don't want to do any of that or do it different, do it different. And if you don't like what they're wearing or the house they live in, change that too. <laughs> do whatever you would like with this save file. Um, so let's see here. How is their moods? Looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. All right. Safe to say. Oh. <sighs> Vidkund, I always have to remember how to look at it and remember how to say it for the first time on around, um, is obsessive and he's wondering where his lover is. He must be thinking of his ex. Um, and I'm going to pronounce it as Cersei, I guess, like Game of Thrones. Um, I haven't really ever pronounced it anything different, but the more I've looked at it lately, the more it kind of is just like Cersei. <laughs> so, if anybody knows the exact pronunciation, throw it, sh send it my way. <laughs> uh, so, we have the boys. And what do they want to do? Oh, okay. So, Vid can like t to do a game mod. And he wants to be a spellcaster. That's interesting. Oh. That could be an option. I mean, I haven't done that before, but I have a feeling the knowledge sims are going to get those wants fairly often. So I'll pick and choose maybe more appropriate sims for that. Ones that have traits that um, correspond with maybe spellcasting. So, and I don't think Vidkind has any traits that correspond with spellcasting. Spell he is eccentric, um, but practical, obsessive, neat, geek, and a loner. And I don't think we're going to turn him into a spellcaster. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> uh, he does want to find some crystals, which is great for his work. Um, just like in the Sims 
to VidKin here actually is also as I should say a knowledge sim and he, I gave him the tinkering hobby as that's what seemed to both work with his sim 4 personality that I've fleshed out for him and sort of corresponded to being a knowledge sim and his um, track his career track I will get the hang of talking maybe someday <laughs> I also have fibro and words are hard <laughs> so um Laszlo here let's see what does he want to do he wants to practice programming that's great he wants to find a frog both of those look good we can do that um he, Laszlo is ambitious restless horticulturist bashful goofball and outgoing um he, just like in The Sims 2, is a knowledge sim and a Sagittarius. Oh, I'm sorry. Is he a knowledge sim? Uh, I look at nature. It's a nature hobby. Gestures. Yes, he's a knowledge sim. Oh my gosh, I thought I went crazy there for a minute. <laughs> Why? I think I was guessing myself because of his nature hobby, and he's just, you know, a little bit different than his brothers. Not quite so scientifically oriented. Um, Pascal here, he's unflirty. He's creative and smart. He's neat, but on the serious side, and he likes to watch movies. He is also a knowledge sim in the science track, and he is a Scorpio, just like in The Sims 2. Um, they have the same careers they had in The Sims 2. Uh, same, I believe, level of career as they had in The Sims 2. I've checked as much as I could against the wiki. They all have lots of clubs, so you'll see them around town, out and about. There are over 160 clubs in this save file, if that's something that interests you. Um, for the most part, clubs, if you have an active, if you're using my recommended mod set, an active, and you'll have to uh, for the clubs, just, just the clubs at least, otherwise the clubs will be completely broken. Um, so the clubs, when your active sims go to a lot, it should not trigger a club led by your sims that are active, but other clubs will come to the lot, which is fun because I've got different activities. I've used um, a custom set of activities for clubs, or a couple custom sets, so <laughs> you need those as well as part of the list of mods on those Google Sheets, so you'll need that. So the clubs do all their fun different things is way better than being like without mods. <laughs> You cannot play this game without mods, I swear. Or at least I don't understand how anybody plays it without mods. <laughs> okay, so we are cleaning the barbecue. Yeah, cool, cool. We just stopped chatting and we just stopped chatting. Okay. Here we are. Uh, we have meaningful stories installed. We have base mental installed. I, I won't be honing in on too much of the base mental um, stuff unless it's something important to the story. Um, I don't want to overhype that part of the game because it might be against like Twitch standards or YouTube standards or some crazy stuff like that. This is realistic play to a point. People have addictions. It happens. Oh, Vidkun likes to write maybe. Um, I'm going to say yes. Yeah, he's in a good mood right now, I think. And I think writing would be beneficial for his work. And it's, he's a knowledge sim, so it makes sense. And I didn't think to put that as something he liked to do <laughs> before. <laughs> cool. So, again, he wants to create a game mod. So maybe... We'll keep them from cleaning. These guys are kind of homebodies for today, I guess. What am I doing? I was going to lock these computers. That's it. Lock computer for everyone but household. Let's see, more choices. 
is oh now I think before I forget I can be a little forgetful program mod a game has <laughs> Sims forever <laughs> of course <laughs> oh we like something do we I think there's a poster yes on this wall yeah I like it too uh, this is their house. It's from the Rosebud save file, uh, just like all the Pleasant View and other Strange Town houses for the house sims minus the Goss are there in the save file. Uh, what do I do, Laszlo? Practice programming. So, Laszlo here, he has a life choice alert, so Laszlo's just made up his mind um, and made a decision. So we check his moodlets to see what that's about. Okay, if I can find it. Oh, it's all the way back here. Become the perfect host. Oh dear God, no. Um, but we'll do it for him until he changes his mind again. He would like to be a party post and have all sorts of parties and I'm sure his brothers will hate that <laughs> uh, all right so he's made the decision now I have to find it so I'm using for this save file um, again it's in the mods list on the Google Sheets the lifetime aspirations mod it hugely expands the aspirations I'm not gonna eventually we'll hit them all <laughs> I hope I'm hoping somebody gets country caretaker I haven't played any cottage living yet at all because I've been busy working on this and I did take a break from the sims for about a week to play some don't starve and because I was just didn't want to get too tired out of the sims of course just from doing the save file stuff and this save file um, took me like almost including the last little bit I've spent working on 2.0 I, I, I'm gauging about like three to five weeks of work <laughs> so it was um, some of it was done before well, I was in the midst of changing some medications and had trouble sleeping, so I was doing overtime. So I need to find, back on track, it's probably under popularity, the party host one, yeah, there it is. So he wants to earn gold on 10 throne parties. He's going to be away in a while. He's going to have to earn some money and move out for the most part <laughs> of that <laughs> because I'm sure Pascal who in my sort of head owns the house for the most part they kind of all have a stake in it but I think it's really it's his house in the end um, him having you know a mysterious bump that's going to result in a mysteriously strangely colored baby <laughs> is going to uh, affect that one thing I didn't think about when I was setting this up is if there is a way through MC command center or something well I could do it maybe after birth but I want to set the child's parent the way it seems to be set up is that oh it's a girl such a spoiler oops <laughs> um, it was a girl in my last save as well um, if there's a way an easier way to set who the baby's like alien parent is because you have to know the parent usually to set them I don't know. we'll have to see how that works out once I figure it out I'll put it on the spreadsheet to you know give people a heads up of how they can accomplish that that baby always looks a little bit different because I have I uh, 
mod for the alien parents. Let's play. Yeah, see, there's the spellcaster again, and it makes no sense for his personality. I don't think. Oh, he's creative. It started. I had actually a fair bit of fun. Um, we'll get to the uh, strange town mystery at the end of Reputation 1. So, it took me the entire week on Rotation 1 of that um, person to do the Strange Town Mystery. And then it's done and over with. And it was fun. And I only had to do it the once for that save. <laughs> and I'm looking, actually looking forward to doing it again, shockingly enough. <laughs> so, that's, so, it'll probably be to do like a whole rotation in my play it took almost like a week of like a good chunk of time each day to play it so it's gonna probably take longer for with the streaming it's gonna be a lot of hours that i stream in the first little while anyway and then i'll cut back after rotation one is done <laughs> well let's run pascal oh he's tired head to the pod and then get out you're not tired you're just tired of being pregnant never mind weird weight gain well I'm not sure why he tried to take a nap there um, you're done pretty much doing that you have to use the washroom oh you're still working on that mod eh buddy yeah, getting there you don't need much oh so Pascal hates video games that just popped up. Oh, that's cool, bud. I'm not sure why you're still playing one then, but you do you. We all have to do things we hate. Seems a little weird he'd hate video games, but... <laughs> oh, it's time to go to the lab. Should we go? Oh, it's for Pascal. I feel so bad sending him to work so pregnant. He probably has vacation time. If he has vacation time, I'm canceling him going to work. He can stay home. The other guys can go to work. Yeah, he's got three days. He'll regret that later because of uh, the baby. I don't think he... I may have to cheat him to get parental leave from work for the baby. Just because that's not fair. Last time I played my save, he didn't get parental leave. And I'm a socialist. <laughs> my Sims have free health care, free education, parental leave for both or any gender. <laughs> um, I do also play with the. Oh, sorry, baby, you're not going to be able to finish that today. Um, we will be going to work as a scientist. Cassandra is also a scientist. So we will definitely be doing work days as scientists for um, when people need it for promotions. Who are we talking to? Oh, we're sad. Just calling a friend. I'm going to be a terrible parent. Oh, no. <laughs> What's he want to do? He wants to find a medal. Maybe that'll cheer him up. He wants to read obituaries. Oh, God. <laughs> well, that's a little morbid when you've got a weird weight gain. Can we do that? Too uncomfortable? Uh, he called nervous subject. So, um, the, vic <laughs> the beakers must have allowed nervous to come to the poem. And cry it out. He's too upset to read obituaries. Too sad. Wait, it says the internet service is not. I th swear to God, I set that up. I remember setting that up. <laughs> I will have to fix that in the save file. I'm playing a copy of the pre release of the 2.0 save file. Um, and then, so as soon as seriously finish 
is updating the cooking overhaul. They're working super hard on it. Uh, I'm so excited to get it back into my game um, and they can take all the time they need to get it done last exception for some strange reason um at any rate once um yeah i fix this all right i'll fix that in the other one and uh, now actually i want to spurge to contribute to the bills as well so I'm gonna leave that household account um let's fix home services Customize home services. Premium internet. Oh, maybe you have to set up as well. I bet that's it. I can remember them all being collected. Whatever. It's a hundred bucks. We also need to order food. Because every single lot in this save file now has the simple living trait. Just to make things more realistic. And my goodness I've already found it that's hard and he's hungry already so that's a problem so let's just go over here I noticed you could I think order groceries from the fridge order delivery that's a little too convenient groceries are really expensive found that out um, in the last stream earlier today at the Goss house I ordered like two of everything it was like two grand so I'm not sure um, we'll have to keep it we have $42 in the household funds I think we're gonna have to transfer some money first <laughs> we're gonna have to keep it uh, cheap it gets easier during round one when a lot of more money is coming in from fam or from family members working so it gets easier with that I found but the first little bit when you have stuff you want to buy for the house because you think it's missing or you know you need to get groceries it's hard <laughs> I'm thinking the brokes might starve <laughs> to death at this point I've got a few things in the free fridge for them but okay so we'll take out some money just to buy groceries and I just did that again I'm in the wrong thing that explains it <laughs> Thinking about the bills, we want Sims National Bank. So he's ten grand in the bank. It's a respectable amount for somebody at his age that's been working and is in his position at work and who's basically inherited a house. <laughs> um, so we're gonna just withdraw five hundred dollars, and he'll get um, paid vacation, I believe, today. And his brothers are gonna come home with money too, so it works. All right, done that. Now we can order groceries. And even though it's not very realistic, I'm still going to do it through the fridge. <laughs> um, so let's get an apple. A couple. Oh, actually, maybe I'll do by cost. Let's see what. Oh gosh, maybe that's why it costs so much <laughs> when I was doing that. I've also noticed that groceries aren't the same all the time. So you can't always cook the same stuff which is really cool sometimes you just don't have like the ingredients we'll get two mushrooms so cheap we'll get a couple small mushrooms a couple lettuces these are all cheap watermelon you can do a lot with that we'll get a parsley we'll get a couple eggs there's three guys in the house we'll get three eggs we'll get a flour and a sugar so eventually they might use those we're getting into a little more expensive. But, you know, they probably want some, like, meat. Maybe the peas. Haha, we found cheaper apples. We're not getting chocolate. We're not getting anything silly like chocolate eggs or. I noticed with bottles of milk, hopefully this will be fixed by seriously. Um, they just take them out right out of the fridge and just drink them as is and for $16 no thanks um, they usually instead of doing that will spend like $4 on an orange juice or something instead but I don't think they can do that with the Simply Living try treat either they go and get a glass of water hydro homie over here water is good drink your water ok 
Okay, we'll get a potato. There's the meat, so we'll get a package of each meat. And that's half of what I took out of the bank almost. So, yeah. There's only one potato. Is there something else we could maybe just add on? I know we could add more, add more small whichevers. Black bean. Oh, a blueberry. Why not a blueberry? They're good for you. I tell myself that every time I go to the grocery store. But then I'm great at ignoring healthy food at home. <laughs> After it's in the house. It's terrible, I tell you. Uh, while we're waiting for the delivery, his phone is ringing. Boss is calling. I guess I should have called in. Oh, if I miss too many days, my performance will suffer. Well, he's not going to let that happen. Oh, yeah, see, they get water more. Oh, I forgot to fix this, and I know I had to fix it in my last save file. It's just something to add to the list. <laughs> Always something. The person who built this house left uh, this cabinet here in the way. And move it about there and that way the hampers are still accessible as well as the door <laughs> so I'll give that a fix so that'll be fixed in the release of 2.0 as long as I remember by the end of the stream <laughs> oh somebody's at the door who's here the grocery guy I should have remembered that we ordered groceries like two seconds ago I did not remember <laughs> Oh, we're going to accept the groceries this time. And they just walk in and bring it inside. Cool. I wish they did that where I lived. <laughs> Lately, they've just left when we order like pizza or whatever. It just gets left on the stoop of the apartment building and they take oh. off. <laughs> oh, sorry, I hit my mic. <laughs> Oh. I thought you were hungry, dude. You have to pee, so go put the groceries away. So just say unload the grocery. And I believe that puts it directly into the fridge. We've ordered groceries for a couple houses, but not all of them. Um, and you need to hit the washroom. And then you can make something to eat. What can we make? We're going to serve a meal if we can. Uh, or delivery, open her staff, utensil preference. Just cook? Can we cook anything? Did we not get that? We can do vegetable dumplings. And I was going to say, do a family size. Uh, no, nah, there's not enough for that size. Oh, wow. Veg cost a lot to cook stuff. I'm glad the houses they moved into are fairly decent because upgrades are going to take a long time. I intended it to be hard though. Um, I used to play Sims like the not necessarily for everybody easier way but like modified modded uh, legacy where within like one generation they're all so stinking <laughs> rich <laughs> that you have the biggest house with everything from every pack in it and they never leave <laughs> so except to like go to school and they end up marrying people they went to high school or whatever with because you never go out anywhere really to meet anything because you have everything at home <laughs> yeah it's uh this is a big challenge for me and I'm loving it <laughs> Gosh, this is your first time cooking and you're starving. This could be... Do not... Okay, we're using the actual stove. Don't burn it, though. You don't have that much money or food in the place, so... Don't burn it. Yes! 
<laughs> I'm so proud of you. <laughs> okay, you can eat it. You're hungry. Go ahead. That that was a move. I want to learn how to do that. Right through a counter. Shoof. Yikes. So we're just chilling out. Fathers will come home from work. He's enraged from his uh, pregnancy. I have de emotional deaths are turned off. Sims would be... I had them on once and everybody was just dropping like flies. I want Sims to die. Horrible as that sounds. I want Sims to die. Um, but I don't want them all dropping dead like crazy. There's a limit. <laughs> the whole town, like both the towns would be killed off in like two play sessions if I left the emotional deaths on. What is he doing? Where are you taking your drink? That's a lot of stairs for a pregnant guy. Oh wait, I mean a guy with a mysterious lump. Oh, we had to look at the post, the column. At least he approves of it. Now, this house came with a rosebud save file. We're just going to leave the cup there. Okay. <laughs> I love the Sims. He just leaves it wherever. Oh, and now he wants to rage, r rage into the machine. Okay, got to give the Sims 4 team that. That's actually, that's that's pretty good. Reach into the machine. I've never seen that before. I've never seen this before. <laughs> Does he do anything? Oh, he just like watches a little video. Same as I think when they sleep. That's disappointing, but still funny. <laughs> Rage into the machine. Oh, I think he's yelling inside. Well, there's like some kind of yelling inside. It's not necessarily him, but it's just yelling. Okay, cool, cool. Um, since nobody's home, and this is gonna take a while for him to rage into the machine. I'm gonna speed it up till he gets out. <laughs> Cause there's nothing else to look at except this amazing Strangerville scenery. It is actually a stupidly pretty town, especially after you take care of the infection. We're not worried about the infection. It's going to rage until the end of the first rotation. Sort of like my grand finale of, <laughs> I guess, my grand finale of the extra streaming. And I will have to take a day off in that time, probably, just to do the 2.0 save release. Gotta fix that. This is cool. Okay, go to the washroom. Get off your phone. I do have Slice of Life. It, it's pretty neat. I like it. I have no complaints so far. I think Sims are on their phone a pretty realistic amount. <laughs> At this, I think it was worse. I did see some complaints about that, and I think it was toned down, and I think it's great. I want to see how the My Health comes out. The health. But it looks like, yeah, you can get vaccines, there's sickness medicine, you can visit a hospital. It says how much chance of getting cured. Relieves the symptoms. Okay. Relieves the symptoms of their sickness and most of their symptoms. Okay. I'd probably do like the hospital first. And, that, and then I'll reimburse them for it. Because where I live, it doesn't cost you money. Unless you take an ambulance. And the ambulance bill is only $45. Unless you are a jerk who's faking or making up a reason to take an ambulance when you don't really need one. Like needing to get a prescription filled so you call 911 for an ambulance. 
been there, seen that. <laughs> uh, wasn't me. <laughs> but I have seen that happen. Uh, not cool. You could are risking a charge of $350, which probably sounds like a dream to a lot of people in the United States. <laughs> but it's true. Oh, he's flirty. Ah. He's an unflirty sim. He's just having a. He's actually he's an unflirty asexual sim, and neither is um, cancels each other out or anything like that. And you can be flirty as an unflirty person from time to time, and maybe you just feel flirty, but you don't feel like flirting with anyone. And you can be asexual and be flirty. <laughs> so, or not be flirty, whatever you like. Is he messing with the bees? Yes. Dude, that's a terrible idea. Don't do it. Nope. <laughs> well, you deserve that if you're going to mess with bees. Uh, if you're going to mess with bees, jeez. Uh -huh. We've been with these guys almost all day, though. Um, this is the end of Friday. We have Saturday, I believe, which is technically, yeah, tomorrow. And then that's when I begin round one. So I'll probably even be getting round one on this session. So, which actually surprised me. I thought I'd be streaming longer, but I guess I streamed Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday before. So, yeah, and I start... My round one starts at 7 a.m. 6 a.m. or 7 a.m. on the Sunday morning. So I think we should actually move on even before the other guys get home. I'm not sure how that'll be for their um, the money coming in. I think they're supposed to come home at like 7 o'clock. This is why I don't have them have a baby this day. Yeah, he's working. They're all going to come home in an hour, but... I'm really feeling like we should just kind of keep trucking here because we're going to run out of time for just looking, just playing each family from the like Sims 2 sort of headcanon or the Sims 2 scripted events. So, yeah, the script, Sims 2 scripted events. And so next up would be the Spectres, then the Beakers, the Smiths, the Grinds. So kind of going to have to run through that real fast, even if we're going to make it all. And honestly, the actual um, events themselves don't, they don't really work in some sport. I just kind of play what I want to play, do marriages during that time if I want to do marriages that are you know, like, Cassandra to Dawn, or not, if Dawn rejects her, and, um, Mortimer to Dina, basically. Those are the big ones, <laughs> the big two events from the round. I don't have babies until they, until I'm in the actual rounds, um, and you'll see how I put down ages and stuff on the spreadsheet and how that works for me um and then uh i don't have deaths unless like i don't have there's no scripted deaths in the sims 4 so like uh all of specter dying when we get to her short short way like it's just not going to happen <laughs> So let's do what we can in Strange Town or Strange Town in Strangerville with the Strange Town Sims um, until Sunday morning. We'll just hit. We'll try and hit um, the Beakers for a few hours. Maybe the Specters. Like I'd like to hit. I'd like to hit these guys, all these guys. So, the Smiths, the Beakers, the Spectres, and the Grunts. I don't even know if we'll be able to fit that all in. So, we'll just have to kind of see where we are. Again, aging's not on, and 
will turn on aging at the beginning of the first round. But I don't know uh, if we can pack all four of these in. But we can go in and take a look at them real quick too. Um, I do want to do the beakers though. They're super evil. And I think that's kind of cool. <laughs> They're super, super evil. don't have to worry about anybody to go to work I don't think well look he would be coming home in like the minute after he left so I can always reimburse him a vacation day if I feel we really need to but I'm not that concerned and nervous is out of his cell because <laughs> of course he is he is heavily medicated by the beakers keep uh, things in line um, if and when all of Spectre passes away his contract expires so we'll have to see if the beakers are going to actually let him go or not I'm not so sure they will but he is sins to inherit a bunch of money from all of it's the same as the Sims 2 wiki <laughs> says that he's the one who inherits the money uh, so that is a possibility Oof, we clean things up so um, Cersei here neat mysterious occult enthusiast perfectionist mean and active she's a fortune sim as she is in the sims 2 as well as Capricorn Loki here, he's scary. He's a genius. He's a tinker. He's mischievous, mean, and insane. You know what? Sorry, it's just a little loud for me here tonight. Just a, just a smidgen in my ears there. <laughs> hopefully my... I do... Hopefully I've got my Twitch set so that the... Um, <laughs> Oh gosh, she's so cute. Oh! <laughs> oh dear! <laughs> so, um, as I'm saying about Loki, scary genius tinker, mischievous, mean, and insane, and he is an all sim as he was in Sims 2, as well as a Capricorn. They're not nice people in my game. Oof! That handprint. Yeah, I do really like the slice of life for leaving the details like that. <laughs> so we'll have to see how that goes. <laughs> Someone's on the road to fame. Some some sims have a bit of fame. Why are you knocking your own trash can over? That's a stupid idea. Uh, atrocious reputation. And I believe. Yeah, an awful one as well. Well, oh, oh good, you're picking it up on your own. Impressive. I'm being nice. Look at that. I break the awful habit of unrealistically dragging things to the trash. Oh, I'm running low on water. This will be an issue. <laughs> the fridge is like 10 feet away though, so not a big issue. <laughs> be disliked? He just got to be disliked by two sims? Does his wife suddenly dislike him? What's happened there? Nope, nope. We're, 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 Confessing your attraction, 
to joyful mean spiritedness. <laughs> I like that. Oh, but he's not happy about the slap. <laughs> <laughs> but he's also feeling joyous. It looks like joyous mean spiritedness. Yeah, that's hilarious. Um, so what we could do, I know it's like eight o'clock at night for them. Uh, <laughs> Nervous also has the Strangerville mystery. Um, however, he cannot. I don't allow him to do his aspiration exactly. So, and I just just there because it's kind of a placeholder. <laughs> He's definitely not going out and solving anything. What is wrong? Take a shower. Yeah, it's getting late for poor Nervous. Um, I was going to say, you can't start a club with only one um, person in it. So what I suggest is if you want to run the Beaker family with um, their interactions here, with along with the nervous subject interactions, um, you need to add a second, like an add a second subject. To their study like as a control group or something that gets to go home so I can kind of just scroll through and see if there's anyone kind of appropriate maybe somebody paranoid or I don't have anybody at the moment there um, and I don't think he's exactly yes he is paranoid so we could try since he runs it just so that we can do the club and just show off this so I do have for the clubs and this is part of all the club tree or all the club mods that are on the mod list on the Google Sheets file that's linked below or around somewhere on the page you're on <laughs> um, <laughs> It has all the extra mods. The only one that I've noticed was missing was um, Drug Dealer on that for Base Mental. So those, uh, the Base Mental clubs are invite only. So they'll disappear after those sims die off. <laughs> die or, you know, just disappear into the ether. <laughs> Paranoid. That's what I'm looking for. H I J K L. And then oh, I saw it. <laughs> there it is. Paranoid. Now let's see if we can add somebody new. I'm thinking this was my pair for him last time, so I think that's a good idea. She might be good to add as well, to have two of them and have three people in his club. They're allowed to watch movies, but otherwise they basically clean the house and um, cook. <laughs> and they're going to have a hard time cooking much if there's no groceries. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking maybe just for variety as we add them as, all, as control subjects to the group. Cool. So let's start a gathering for both the Beaker Institute, not the Beaker family, the Beaker Institute. They've got different whims. They're going to be mean to the nervous subjects. They're going to be mischievous to the nervous subjects. They're going to use the listening device. Um, I think we have a, we have at least yet yeah, we have th four bugs, so we can put bugs on all the subjects. Um, and those bugs will be in the inventory of the sim when you start the save file. What am I looking for? The clubs. Um, they're going to use science objects and do research. Uh, and then the nervous subjects are going to clean. They're going to try to be friendly. And it should be the Beaker Institute on here, so there's something else. They're going to try and be friendly with the Beaker Institute, but the Beaker Institute's not allowed to be friendly to them. <laughs> The uh, Beaker Institute, so I'll try and remember to fix that as well for the 2.0 save file. It's just, there's going to be things here and there. It's just, I have fibro. My brain is not good on a good day, so. Um, yeah, they're going to try and be friendly with the Beaker Institute. They're going to cook. They're going to watch movies. 
They're going to take their medications. Cool. Okay. Start the club gathering. You're supposed to get changed. I have outfits for the club gathering. I have their clubs. So, for some reason, hmm, the active sims did not change their claws. Oh, he did, but the beakers didn't. Did I not start their claws gathering? That's why. Ha! <laughs> Alright, shame on me. There we go. Gas masks, as I said. <laughs> Dude, you're going to have to pick that up. Maybe I should have them do that now. They just look as scary as possible. For <laughs> that would be terrifying if you were in the nervous subject. Just terrifying when they put those on. He's got a bug of some kind on him. So let's get Loki. Uh, it's fine nervous actually. Where is nervous at? Upstairs. Coming downstairs. Excellent. Can we plant a bug on him? Yes. <laughs> With a hug. Excellent. Didn't notice the bug being planted. Excellent. I'm just going to do the nervous subject. <laughs> there too are control subjects. Mm -hmm. uh, so what do we want to do? Browse Simpedia. Give serum to a tourist. <laughs> I'm carrying a serum. Select the sim outside the lab and choose friendly and test serum. Interesting. I don't know if we have any serums. He just put a bug on his wife. He just put a bug on his wife. Oh, for crying out loud. Ha! Well, that says a lot about their marriage, doesn't it? Ugh. She wants to brush her teeth, I think. Yeah. Your teeth feel gross. We'll do that momentarily. <laughs> Through a gas mask. That, that makes a lot of sense. Cool. Maybe it's helping keep you alive longer if you do it through the gas mask. Not likely. Mm-hmm. So he needs to take his medication. He's not having any fun whatsoever. Is there anything he's allowed to do? If you can see, his panel is a little less filled out than the other guys. So, at this point, um, with through the LGBT mod, he is non <laughs> nervous subjects and non binary asexual who's in the closet. And um, he has some hobbies that he has tried and liked, or he thinks he likes, or he dreams of liking. <sighs> but he's really not allowed to do very much. He also he likes both men and women, but he is he's a child. He's got a child like personality from the abuse he's suffered at the hands of his captors <laughs> but you know also I think all probably knew what she was doing when she handed him over all right she needs to brush her teeth she wants to flirt my goodness <laughs> he doesn't feel good after smoking well that just serves you right and at least he gets a little interaction with you. Oh, we've put a <laughs> we've put a bug on one of the um, 
<laughs> one of the subjects from our experimenting. Well, the place hasn't devolved into a brawl yet, so I'm, I'm okay with that. I like drama, but there is a point where it gets just ridiculous and unrealistic. I'm gonna get a couple last exceptions. I probably have a couple mods in that aren't quite a hundred percent yet. They don't bother me. So, oh, we're getting tired. Yeah, let's end our experiments for the night. She's tired. He's tired. It's 11:30. I meant to have her brush her teeth, and she didn't. He needs to go to bed too, and. He should know he needs to be downstairs by this hour. Um, I might have to unlock the door. So we'll unlock the door so he can go to bed. Must have been on, should have been unlocked when we got there because he's out of his cell. <laughs> Mary Whiskers has been adopted by Kaylin Lagernack. That's cool. She did that in my last uh, one as well. That kind of works too because sometimes she ends up as playable through Daniel or Dawn. Uh, last time I was playing um, Pleasant Hills, it was to Daniel. Wouldn't be surprised if that happened again considering their relationship in pre rounds. <laughs> So, couldn't keep their hands off of each other. They're off to dreamland. People are still over, and so that's why it's not added into third speed. Now, you guys can go home. I could probably send them home, I think. Maybe. But I've seen, yeah, I'm sure I've seen that option before, but... Not a big deal. Watch those two will fall in love. That'd be kind of cool. <laughs> They're just sitting on the couch randomly. motives are good. Um, I don't think either of the Beakers is interested in having a child right now. Doesn't mean it won't happen, um, but they do have contraception if they're not interested in having kids right now. And they, if they want to have, if one wants to have a child, oh, he wants to have a child. Loki wants to have a child. So he could ask he can ask Cersei to stop her birth control and they can start trying for a child. Oh, she does want a child. Why is she taking birth control? Well, that's an error. And there is no birth control in her inventory. Alright. That's got to be a wonderful whims glitch. So we're just going to... do this. If we put a new pack in, hopefully we can um, disallow auto use. And there is a movelet for birth control there. And oh, I hate that. It only when you're in pause will it stay like all the movelets stay visible. As soon as you seem to do anything else, <laughs> also, of course, it's staying down. But yeah, as soon as you do anything else, they fold. Have you not gone to bed, or did you wake up? What's going on here, buddy? You're hungry. We have no food. You must have woken up. Well, you know what? Did we lock the door? Lock for specific sim. Yourself. Technically, that door locks behind you, buddy. There's no food until they let 
until they give it to you. So. And if they work today, if they both work, no, they're off. I was gonna say, if they worked, he'd probably be have be in his cell all day, except for the food they deliver. So he has a toy in his in or he ha usually he comes usually with a toy in his inventory, but it's not there. He's already put it down somewhere, so he doesn't even have a toy. It's a rough time. He needs his medication. Oh, did I not end the club meeting? Oh, for God's sake, that's my bad. Sorry, guys. <laughs> A lot of meds in the morning. Oh, well, I take some right at the sink, even. A good boy taking his meds. <laughs> Alright, question is, is the speakers providing these meds because he actually needs them or not? Isn't that awful? Oh, they're really hungry. Oops. <laughs> I should probably wake up, maybe hit the washroom, maybe order some groceries. starving. They don't have anything in the fridge. So I'm going to be nice to them and uh, order delivery um, <laughs> because it's faster. It's an order from Zoomies and I actually haven't tried that yet either. Hmm. Well, we'll see. Um, so she likes healthy food food. Um, they don't have a huge amount of money, so we'll keep to the cheaper stuff. Um, and these should all work for her. And they're inexpensive. Vegetables and fruit. They're small, but... And then we can just get a couple eggs. Parsley. So we can maybe cook a large variety of things. As money rolls in, it'll be easier to afford groceries. Like they only have 372 in the household account at the moment, so we won't get a lot. Apple. Um, I think we'll get that. Potato. Uh, and then wrapped meat. Where are them? It's 224. Groceries rack up real quick. <laughs> Oh, she's still going to do it from the phone, even though I clicked on the fridge. That's okay, then. Cool. And she wants to hack something. Oof. I really got to switch to the next house, though, don't I? Well, so much. I want a woohoo, but we don't have time. So get the groceries into the house, and then we're actually just going to leave. <laughs> and they'll have to fend for themselves. What is that noise? Was that her? Or them? Oh, the god. They're both smoking on the toilet. <laughs> I knew the smokers were supposed to do that autonomously. <laughs> and it's real life. People smoke, unfortunately. Oh, she's even got her legs crossed. <laughs> you're starving. And you're sitting there on the toilet having smoke. Oh, and there's somebody at the door. Oh, this, the groceries are here. Oh, good, you're done. <laughs> oh. Uh, accept delivery? Yes. Since you're hungry, why are you in your club clothes still? I thought I ended the gatherings. I guess she can have a quick meal. Cool. Alright, on to the next house. 
uh, we've seen the beakers, we've seen them do a club gathering. Again, not as dramatic this round as I hoped for. I was had some really dramatic moments in my... I guess my pre-rounds weren't overly dramatic on my original save file. It was once I got into the actual rotations, when the relationships were building even more. Uh, there was a lot of drama. So, Spectre House, uh, it looks like what you'd expect from The Sims 2 Spectre House even, so, good stuff, props to the people making these. Um, so, all of over here, she's non-committal, cold-blooded, a homebody, erratic, creative, and creepy. She is a little, like, she's not two days away from dying like she is in The Sims 2 that's because I wanted more time to play you know nervous subject as he is before he inherits the money and possibly gets out of his situation um, or you know and it gives me a chance to actually play all Spectre <laughs> I'm sorry just like in the Sims 2 she's a knowledge sim and a Scorpio and then we have Ophelia she's clever stunning on the gloomy side she doesn't like elders she thinks they're boring as all get out <laughs> and she's a geek uh, she is as she is in the sims 2 she's a virgo and a family sim uh, and she is dating johnny so um so yeah i expect she'll want to go to college she's a family sim but johnny's going I believe so she'll probably want to go too <laughs> we'll roll it you never know she's got a little bit of money squirreled away from her inheritance from her parents death <laughs> embarrassed to, but it's overridden completely by the fact that she's boring <laughs> so she wants to spread rumors uh, buy a toddler jungle gym we have no room for that here and do a power sculpting workout. <laughs> um, create mathematical drawing, level up in programming, become flirty. Hmm. Interesting. Where is the. There is an easel in here somewhere, I believe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in her. Olive's room. So she wants to do mathematical medical drawing, so we can have her do that. Uh, is it really unrealistic for you to want to buy a toddler jungle room in this lot in particular? Happens. She's hating her grand or her great aunt's house. Hates it. <laughs> well, uh, geek lesson. Okay, so new preference. What a great activity. Ophelia loves video games. <laughs> uh, what a rush. Booster of Adrenaline is amazing. Does she like fitness? Well, she's a tiny bit of a celebrity from her band, uh, Plum Bob and Llamas. So I'm thinking she should probably like to stay in shape. <laughs> Just say yes. <laughs> She's a struggling athlete, so she from the talents and weaknesses mod, so it's going to be harder for her to build fitness skill as it is. But hey, if she likes fitness, cool. She can go ahead and work out. So we're gonna do that drawing. We're gonna probably gonna stay the morning here because we still have two houses with like to look at I think so we won't be at any of the houses for very long unfortunately uh, probably the rest the last of this little bit uh, the Grant house 
overnight. <laughs> so, but that's okay. Look at Ophelia. She was worth dropping in on. Is there anything she wants to do right now? I guess we can do try a power sculpting workout since she wants fitness. Can we do that? Cable TV service not set up. Okay, so this is an issue I think I'm going to fix later. Because um, when you customize, I do have like premium, but I guess you have to have all of it. It's fine. <laughs> That's not a huge deal. Workout. Power sculpting. Cool. And this is great doing rotational because I don't do a lot of stuff with some of my sims when you play a legacy sort of or a legacy style without any of the right actual legacy rules <laughs> you just kind of do your own thing only one family ever <laughs> at a time for a save file I'm loving this rotational stuff <laughs> pin that so when she's done it she'll get the oh you lost your mathematical drawing point let's list on popsy <laughs> rather than selling from the inventory try and sell on popsy oh she's going to paint again cool what you painting Pop art. That's a choice for someone like you. Either way, she's just happy to be at home. <laughs> she's very possessive of her house. As you can tell by the graveyard outside of it. <laughs> That story is technically not canon, but it is what everybody thinks is that she killed everybody. <laughs> or most people seem to think. We got some homework done. Well, that's good. Now we want to get steroids. <laughs> that's a thought. Just because you worked out once doesn't mean you need to go get jacked up on steroids. <laughs> <gasps> Oof, goodness. That's an interesting painting. So when we head over to the Smith's house, maybe we'll invite Ophelia over or Ophelia and Rip over. Oh, she put it in her. She should probably. Oh, she's got a bunch of paintings in there. Cool. She's not keeping anything. <laughs> After she puts those on Popsy, I think we'll head over to the Smith house. Because we can have Ophelia and Rip come over there. So, Because we're not going to be able to spend as much time with those houses. And they're both comfortable at the Smith's house, I think. <laughs> oh, chat with Ophelia. And Ophelia is already bored just at the idea of talking to you. Oof. She's getting yelled at. <laughs> Complain about everything. <laughs> everything is terrible. Okay, we're out. <laughs> That's a good way to end that household. <laughs> so again, we're just playing to the Sunday, and then we start at the Lothario house. For the full week. So I'm going to be able to start that tonight. I may end this stream just so it's separate and just start a new stream like seconds later mm -hmm. as all. Just in case anybody is actually out there watching. 
Uh, yeah, we're gonna go Smith's. The only person home is Jenny. We'll have to bring other people home. Art Center, Woodland Park. We'll go out more with Sims. Um, in the rotations anyway. Most likely. The only place I don't want to go is restaurants because I had my my menus are going to be all screwed up until the cooking overhaul is fixed. Okay, the Smith House. Um, I think we looked at a little bit of this last night. Maybe, maybe not. We didn't look at that much in Stranger World, to be honest. Um, anyway, this is the Smith's House. When I look at it, I see the Smith's House. <laughs> It's cute. It's yellow. It's really yellow. We've got upstairs bedrooms, spare bedroom, big washroom. Can't remember if anything in these has or in this has needed to be moved around for accessibility. I don't remember. This nook right here, um, the youngest, Jill, she loves dogs, I believe. And so she usually wants a dog and a get it for them yeah when she does want a dog I get one for her and I put a little doggy nook back here because nobody cares about decorating their houses <laughs> usually <laughs> unless they love to decorate their house on a holiday I have to think of some holidays for the save file oh your poor skin buddy Massive breakout. It's probably a slice of life. You can probably get skincare. Um, let's do a Saturday afternoon. Let's just do a one time treatment today. That'll maybe help him out before he invites people over. Why'd you just put on your pajamas? Oh. She's not happy about whoever she was talking to on the phone. She's really tense from being around a Virgo. And she is, thinks her decor is hideous in her house. So we may have to do something about that eventually. <laughs> She wants to move to Oasis Springs anyway. That's probably why. What does he care? He, they both want to move to Oasis Springs. So maybe when the kids are a little older, they can move. Maybe after Johnny's out of the house, or end of next round, they can think about moving. You know, the big move to Oasis Springs. I know there's some other Sims who want to move there too. I, it's going to be great when... Um, the person who does Better Springs are away for the summer or they're away on a job contract and they don't really have access to the internet. They're not back till almost the end of September, but when they are back they do plan on up updating Better Sims and it's going to be amazing. It's already amazing, but it's just going to be more amazing. Oh, go for it. Dude, you don't even like working out and look at you go. Don't die of exhaustion on us. <laughs> In your outdoor clothes when it's hot out. Aww. So, sentiment gain. Oh, and I think that said, what did it say? Jay's not really good with socials and got the awkward trait. <laughs> I'm sure her husband doesn't mind. What do you want to do? Buy a ball pit. Browse some pedia. Oh, Jenny's supposed to be at work. When should she be getting home? At 5 o'clock. Oh, it's almost 5 o'clock already. So late. We'll just have her take a vacation day or whatever. Uh, what did she want to do? Level up in logic. That's a good one for her. Update patient medical records. <laughs> oh, we're about to get in trouble with dad. 
Dance the Sarah music, What's make that? a prank call. Oh. What are you taking your time to plan what you're gonna yell at your dad about? Oh, Oof. <laughs> Didn't appreciate that. Level up a motor skill. Level up in creativity skill. I think creativity skill might work better for her. Oh, she's working on creativity right now anyway. She's artistic, so that makes sense. She's working on her creativity. So we can let her up, level up in that. She's got nothing good. She wants to calm down first by the look of it. She's feeling a little uh, regretful at the moment. Maybe she could go apologize. I believe it was her husband she was mean to. Since she's feeling regretful. What's he up to? Nothing. Alright. Maybe she was because she was mean to Johnny. Yeah, maybe she was mean to Johnny. Oh, witness to a bully. Alright, so we'll have something to randomize here. Uh, some kids at school are being mean to one of my friends. I wanted to help, but I didn't know what to do. What do you think I should have done? Let's find out. Is it the top choice or the bottom choice? Step in and stand up for your friend or stay out of it and console your friend afterwards. Okay, let me just find my randomizer. Oh, right there. <laughs> Uh, randomizers. Cool. Fifty-four. So to either or either, but we'll take the top. Cool. Alright. Who does she need to apologize for? Who does she regret being terrible with? I have no idea. Cool. Show festival info. Festival of Snow has started. We're not going to go today. <laughs> but we we would have. Um, let's fight over... These two. We're not going to invite them over to this club. They have club outfits. Um, we could go with them as club. But I think we'll just invite them over. Jill seems to thrive on the shock and rage of others. <laughs> it's time to admit she likes mischief. We'll say yes. There's nothing to say that she doesn't like mischief. Uh, I mean, maybe not, but <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> oh, what are we doing? Oh, in the spare bedroom. Okay. I was not expecting that. All on their own. Uh, what are we doing? Put a note up. She's going to introduce herself to Rip. Or he's going to make some popcorn because he's hungry and we have no groceries. Oh, we shouldn't invite people in though. I know you want to like be funny with Rip, but... Somebody should invite them in. If they haven't been, or if they need to be invited, I think they don't need to be invited in. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh. Mm, 9.30, I have about an hour before I'm gonna get off stream. No protection was used. They must w all both want children. Oh, we might have a pregnancy. Our first non-pre-pregnancy. Uh, he's neutral. Okay, neutral about having kids. Or oh, are they both neutral about having children? Does it? 
should be here for her. Online writing, profession. It's the thing about having so many traits and stuff is you have to kind of... Yeah, they're both neutral, and I swear to God, he has, uh, they didn't open the box of condoms, I guess. Well, too late now. <laughs> Unpack box. <laughs> We're not going to go take a pregnancy test right away. Oh, yes I do, but something. I'm not sure what. She does need to pee, but we're not going to take a pregnancy test right away. It's unlikely that she's pregnant. <laughs> Took me a lot of on my previous save to get her pregnant, because she is a bit older. And uh, I'm being looked at really cutely by one of my cats. Um, <laughs> Hey, Clary Buck. She, uh, Jenny here, she's older. Uh, she's close to being an elder. And Paul, of course, is an elder, so. <laughs> oh, Jill's been making a mess. romance festivals around. I mean, we can always head out to the romance festival for something to do. Not seeing any signs of pregnancy yet, at least. Oh, this is cute. <laughs> Oof. Yeah, they're all wearing their summer outfits because nobody's got air conditioning yet. I mean, these guys could afford a thermostat and groceries, groceries. They need groceries. Have Jenny order some groceries when she's done eating. <laughs> or Paul can. Depending on what he's up to right now. He's just putting stuff away. So yeah, this is the last day before pre or of the pre rounds. I am having trouble order delivery. There we go. I keep having trouble remember. This is Zoomer's food delivery. Oh, okay. It's like actual plates of food. Interesting. Okay, so let's get some food. watermelons, a couple small mushrooms, a couple spinach, eggplant. I know what it says. It's an eggplant. <laughs> a couple pumpkins. A couple regular mushrooms. A spicy mushroom for seven dollars. Ah, cool. We'll get one of those. Some sugar. We got like four eggs. Pretty big family. We can eat eggs for breakfast are cheap. Some flour, a blueberry, a couple apples, a bell pepper. Actually, mm -hmm. a couple of potatoes. We're doing okay. They've got enough money here. I'll uh, get okay. some meat. Tomatoes are more expensive than the meat. Well, I guess salmon. <laughs> Green bean. Yeah, that's probably plenty. There's no point in getting these milks because they just drink them willy nilly, it seems like. Or after they have a meal, they grab a drink, and I'd rather them grab tap water than, <laughs> than anything else. Want to come to the romance festival with me? As they ask their older sister, we're gonna say not nah, right now. 
Wait in a little bit. We gotta get the groceries here. <laughs> we can cook something eventually on the next round. So I'll hopefully have food in their fridge. <laughs> Jane's not really feeling it right now anyway. <laughs> Oh, he likes that. That way the house is decorated. Johnny does. That's good. I love everybody just taking baths in their house. <laughs> Complaining that it's dirty when they leave puddles on the floor. It's actually really hot where I live right now for where I really live. I'm actually considering grabbing some ice cream, even though I'm on stream. I won't eat with my mouth open, I promise. Oh, Jenny hates fitness. <laughs> She's energized, but she hates it. Plain about the sunny weather. <laughs> You're funny. Yeah. <laughs> Days. Rush of ideas. She can hardly concentrate. Okay. Oh, she wants a pet. How about we adopt a doggy? Because we're not going to have a lot of time. Oh, they're leaving anyway. It's 7.30. We're not going to have a lot of time at the Grand House. As in no time at the Grand House where they're actually kind of awake. <laughs> <laughs> but we're gonna drop by there just to look at the house and I'll show you guys them but the um, yeah there's no point in doing that so I think we'll we'll adopt a dog and then we'll go over to the Grant's house because little Jill here wants a doggo so we'll let her dad actually mom's not doing anything but waiting for dad so um, hire a service and I believe it's adopt a dog. Yeah. We'll just put down the basics for the dog. Okay, it's going to be a puppy. I'm telling you that right now. It's absolutely going to be a puppy. I rarely adopt anything else. <laughs> Cinnamon, Dixie, Boris, Penny, Speckles, and Isaac. And nobody, I don't think, is on stream. If there is anybody on stream and you want your dog named after you or name you pick, speak up now or forever hold your peace um, I think Speckles looks friendly as does Isaac I don't care if they're spade or any spade or oh Isaac or Dixie um, not spade not spade not neutered spade not spade not, sp not neutered Yeah, we'll have them. Maybe we'll ma we'll mesh with one of those guys. Are you gonna call? Do you call? Oh, you got the phone once I clicked it. Gotcha. Oh, let's see. School is stupid. <laughs> should I just be? Able, I should just be able to start working or living life. I, can I never go to school again? So we're gonna roll for that. Mm -hmm. Ninety-seven. School teaches important things, so our responsibility is going to go up. That sounds about right for coming from Jenny. Oh, rude! Here comes the puppy. Hello, puppies. I didn't even look at their breeds or anything. <laughs> A friendly introduction. See. I usually cheat to look at their traits, to be honest. <laughs> well, you're just a go-getter. 
Well, you wanted a puppy. Stop eating food. Come eat the puppies. Oof, you're even more so of a go-getter. Off you go. What are you doing? Getting into a puddle? Rude introduction. Oh. oh, good. The puppy didn't care too much. Okay, Speckles, good introduction. Um, friendly introduction. He's got, well, he's vocally inclined. Oh, I don't know. I've had good introductions with all of them. Usually there's at least one pet that doesn't like The Sims. I may have to check their traits. <laughs> I know it's cheating. Oh, you don't always know what you're going to get in a pet. Ooh. Uh, uh, who should we adopt? You got the cutest kind of coat. You're cute too. And then the third one, wherever the heck it went. There's another doggo around here somewhere. Well, that's not a good sign. It blends in. Here, puppy. Doggo. Where did you go? There's a third one around here. Out oh, there, blending into the carpet. Speckles. Speckles is the cutest name, but it's got the plainest coat. She's got the better relationships with Isaac and Speckles. Well, I guess we should do get to know. There's a good idea. Get to know. That could help. <laughs> He's a sleuth, or she's a sleuth. And the other one we got along more with was Isaac. I uh, get to know. If you're both sleuths, I'm gonna have to check your traits. <laughs> I think you might both be. Loyal. towards Isaac now because he's loyal James like just pick one I'm gonna pick this one I don't know what kind of dog you are but hi Dago you sure you want to adopt this pet taking a pair of it is a big responsibility yes um, we're gonna change the name though Isaac's a horrible name his last name is Smith. Um, it looks like everybody's holding their peace because there's probably not actually anybody out there to suggest any doggo names to me. Um, so, uh, um, Isaac, I believe, is a boy. Uh, da da da. Ozpin Smith. His name is Ozpin. It's perfect, trust me. Okay, so Ozpin has joined the household. Hello, Ozpin! I have to update family trees for rotations. Um, or for this, or even create family trees yet for this yeah, one and I'll yeah. probably just do that at the end of every rotation I'll create a family tree so off stream of course because <laughs> it can be a bit tedious and I keep family trees for my 
current games about thunderstorming in the game. Uh, oh yes, we're gonna go over to the grunts and spend there till morning. I am gonna get a couple of things for the poor doggo here. He's afraid we should probably end the adoption event before we leave as well. Um, so we'll get a doggo bed, just a little doggo bed, and a toy, and cause I feel bad leaving the doggo without any of that. So just get a doggo bed. Put her there. We'll put um yeah, doggo food there. Uh, I don't I like these more than anything else. Just for the ease of feeding the pets. And we'll get you a toy or two. <laughs> we'll get a ball. Stay there ish. I don't get a squeaker. So we'll put the squeaker there on the ball over in the living room. I said put the ball in the living room. There we go. Last time I played, this house is massive house fire because of the setup here with the rug. Oops. So far they haven't done. They haven't lit the fire yet, though, so... Or in this save. So I think we're okay. Okay. So she was... Yeah, neutral to being pregnant, so she's probably gonna start taking birth control anyway. She's got two kids. No, I'm packed box. Twenty-eight packages of pills. Oh, okay. That's what's in a box. That's crazy. I did not realize that. That's good to know. That's probably why the other packs for Sims disappeared when I was building the game originally. Oh, she takes a pack of pills when she. That okay. I'm not sure how that works. <laughs> it's like one day worth of pills if they had the pills before. Oh goodness. Well, that's not very nice, sir. Get out of our house. Jill, tell him to get out. Okay, no, it'll have to be Jenny. Uh, and adoption. No, get out of our house. Oh, you've upset her daughter. A tragedy. So could you, like, Hot just leave? <laughs> okay, thanks, bye. I just feel bad about not adopting all the doggos. Or all the kitties. Jeez. Uh, Doggos are whining. It's adoption event leaving. For Christ's sakes, I don't think they are. <laughs> well, that's annoying. Dude, get out of the house. Like, and 
Okay, he is leaving. Thank you. Goodbye. We didn't even take all the pets. Oh, no, wait. We adopted this one. It's the other ones we didn't take. <laughs> I'm a dummy. Alright, well, Doggo has food. It's already midnight. Not how I planned to do that, but let's just head over to the grunt test so we can take a look at that. And we'll stay there till about 6 a.m. And then we'll start round one. I'm going to probably... S Actually, you know what? It's getting on to 10 o'clock at night here. Um, and I usually feed the cats at 10.30. So I'm going to start tomorrow. Um, I'm going to end the stream at the end of this um, end of this little peek into the grind household. I'm going to end the stream and I'll pick it up tomorrow. Tomorrow I won't be streaming as much. i got to do groceries. So I will only be on in, probably only be on in the evening. Uh, so that will be probably like 8 p.m. ish Eastern Standard Time again. Okay. Grunt house, last house. So we got Buzz. Everybody's still awake. They're probably all wide awake because they just went to their house. Yeah, they're not that tired right now. A little getting there. Grunt. Buzz, we got Tank. We got Rip, who was over. Uh, well, neighbors, he's going to get changed before he goes inside, I think. Um, he is identifying as female, though, so that's unfortunate. He is in the closet. Uh, change outfit. You don't want to give it away to his whole family that quickly. Yeah, so he's on his way home. Do not. <laughs> yep. um, <laughs> and poor Buck is scared of the thunderstorm. Discuss fractions. Cute. What do you want to do? Make funny faces, dine out with a sim. Well, you would be able to climb the rock wall if it wasn't pouring rain out. <laughs> Everybody just wants to climb the rock wall. Teach responsibility. That makes sense for you. What are you up to, little buddy? Just sitting in your room doing homework. You could probably help with your homework. How do we teach your response? Oh. oh. I had this problem before. I forgot that I had this problem before. So I had this problem before with the house. And it seemed to be that. <laughs> Unfortunate, but it's the way it works sometimes. I would like to, I don't know, but you'll always be my baby. It's the only choice. <laughs> Teach about responsibility. Maybe help with some homework. Oh, maybe just the one. I think you might finish this homework. Really? I lost it. Encourage recent behavior. Just terrified of the thunderstorm. Oh, okay. We're still gonna. Oh, he actually goes, oh, huh? Like, where'd you go? Teach, teach, teach. Talk. Right, did it go too far? Is it even there? Is it... Teach about responsibility. <laughs> the Sim 4 menus are a mess. I am using a mod that cleans them up, but it's newer to me, so it's taking me a bit to remember all of it. Help Tank with his homework. Yeah, everybody's 
everybody's getting hungry, of course. We could use like some meals or something. Maybe we'll try this Zoomer's delivery. What's cheap? <laughs> BLT sandwiches. All right, in Yorkshire, puddings and spaghetti. It's all fairly cheap. Mm. Yeah, got cool things we can put in the fridge. Yeah, no. Nah. We'll just get that and they can choose. Rip's not that hungry right now, so I'm not going to worry about that. It's 2 a.m. though. <laughs> Maybe we'll just have them suck it up. Alright, you need to go to the washroom and go to bed. What are you doing? You're good. You're hungry. I could use the washroom as well. And you're okay. Alright, well. You probably have to work in the morning, though, don't you? Buzz? Two days. Never mind, he does not have to work in the morning. We should go out to get groceries with them, but I thought this will do for now. Everybody's tense in this household, for the most part, <laughs> except for uh, Buzz here, who seems to have good compatibility with all his kids at the moment. Mm -hmm. He's feeling fulfilled. No. He did complete. I he's well, the way it worked out with the safe files. He 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 completed his aspiration for military and has now decided to pursue being a bodybuilder. Which means he's going to have to switch to the bodybuilder career at some point, but he loses a lot of money doing that. <laughs> and he already completed one aspiration, so hey. This cupboards look a little weird on against the wall with the walls down against the uh, mirror. It's okay. I'm surprised he hasn't set a curfew for them. Are the groceries here yet? No, they might not come till morning. They can always get left on the porch. In the meantime. You're not very tired though, I don't think you can stay up. For the night. At least it's not thunderstorming. Yeah, the groceries might not come till the morning. Well, it's okay. Um, for neighborhood action plans and stuff, I have them turned off right away. <laughs> it's only people who can vote can create neighborhood action stuff, which I think is a good idea. <laughs> only your played Sims can vote. Oh, we're out here fixing stuff. Alright, that's cool. Did the groceries come? <laughs> you can't hear the knock. I missed the doorbell. Yeah. Maybe no groceries till morning. Maybe no midnight deliveries. <laughs> oh, he's almost got it fixed. He's doing pretty good. Congratulations on not electrocuting yourself. <laughs> and then he complains about making it dirty immediately. Oh, 
who's going to swing. But if you're going to complain about your mess, then you damn well better clean up your own mess. Mm -hmm. um, with the SN, SN banking bills, a garbage man actually does come every week and empty your garbage, your main garbage with a lot. I think that's really cool. Uh, let's have him hit the washroom, grab a couple hours of sleep. It's Sunday, he doesn't have to worry about going to school or anything. Auto lights, all lights. Thank you. I almost got my phone taken because my parents heard what we were talking about. I, I will just talk to you at school. Bye. <laughs> What were you talking about at school? Oh, <laughs> so we're pretty close to wrapping this up. Um, probably after we send her up to bed. Pretty close to after we send her up to bed. And we'll be all ready to start uh, the rotational play tomorrow. And I'll be on once again uh, in the evening, Eastern Standard Time, like 8 p.m up at 10 30 because I have to feed the cats at 10 30 and it's a good half hour before I'm well feed the cats and play with the cats I'm a good half hour at least before that's out of the way and then I'm about ready to get ready for bed anyway <laughs> um so yeah tomorrow we'll just be streaming the once likely in the evening depending on how my day goes we have to do groceries my sister and I we are out of the food. Ooh, I went too far. Oops. <laughs> Sorry, Dawn. We've lost an hour of your life. <laughs> that's what I get for talking. Um, so yeah, that's going to be it for tonight, everybody. Or anybody who is out there or ever sees this ever in the future. Um, this will go up to YouTube tonight as well. I'm just throwing everything to YouTube right away right now. And uh, I'm just streaming for the heck of it. Something to do. I'm streaming through the rotational play. At least the very first round of my rotational play of my Sims 4 save file. It's a Sims 2 to 4 save file featuring Sims from Pleasant View and Strange Town. And the link is somewhere on the page you're on. Uh, thanks for tuning in if you've been here at all. Good night.